This video introduces the Year 9 Scratch Game Design Unit. Now what we're going to have a look at is um, we're going to just remind ourselves of the coordinate system in Scratch uh, and we're going to learn in particular how to program a scrolling background. So this is something uh, very new. You wouldn't have done this in Year 7 or 8. And obviously in order to program it you have to fully understand how it works. So we'll be looking at the theory as well of how we can actually get a scrolling background um, working in our Scratch games. Now, for us to have a successful lesson, we need to be able to obviously scroll, uh, get our back background scrolling, uh, perhaps with support, perhaps with um, by watching the video over and over again. Um, and obviously I'd, I'd really like you to be able to um, have confidence in describing how that background code actually works. Um, but to be ultra successful, you know, watch this video once and then try and do the coding uh, from your own knowledge. Really test your understanding. And obviously, if you can fully explain in detail how the scrolling background works, and that's exactly what we're after. Now, just remind yourself of a few key words, sprites. They're those programmable objects that we can uh, move about and get interacting with one another in Scratch. Uh, scrolling backgrounds, this illusion that we're gonna create of um, basically the screen panning, uh, so the background moving from one um, side of the screen to the other. Um, and coordinates, remember they are just their two, two numbers, X and Y values to identify positions of objects on a screen. So the aim of this project, you're gonna design and create a computer game, uh, but ultimately, you know, it's a scrolling background game. So it's, it's very different from what you've done previously. So scrolling backgrounds, the theory. Now, the illusion of a scrolling background, ultimately, um, it's nothing more than just two sprites which move to the left, and that is it. So here we've got two sprites, um, both the um, sort of idea that they're um, the ground, um, and they are positioned next to each other, and you can see that um, they are the width of a screen. So when they're next to each other, you know, wherever we are on that screen, um, it could be that we're looking at one sprite or it could be that we're looking at the right-hand side of one and the left-hand side of the other and the join of where they actually meet up. Now, as soon as a sprite goes too far off to the left, it's repositioned over to the right-hand side of the other sprite. So it's like a conveyor belt system and it gives this illusion of a moving background. So both of these sprites move to the left-hand side and as soon as this one falls off the screen, it gets repositioned over here. So there's sprite one and sprite two. They move to the left hand side and as soon as it falls off the screen it gets repositioned over to the right hand side over and over again and that ultimately is all there is to um, to scrolling backgrounds just sprites that are all queued up and they move to let to the left at the same time so if you remember you got your invisible coordinates grid um, in a scratch stage now if you want objects to move over to the left hand side what we need to be doing is we need to be thinking, okay, it's the X axis that we need to uh, to move the objects, therefore it's the X coordinate that needs to change over time. So how are we gonna actually move along the X axis? Well, we can use this sprite here, change X by a certain value. Now, if we forever change the X value by, let's say minus five, the object would, over time, move to the left-hand side. Its X value would constantly go from, I don't know, 100 to 99 to 98 to 97, all the way to minus 240, where it would be off the screen. So let's do a little bit of programming then for uh, to get these scrolling backgrounds working. So ultimately what we want to do is we want to create a new sprite that's going to be the land. We can draw our, um, our land or our ground at the bottom of the canvas. Um, and I've colored it in green here. Now, when you've finished, if you actually go back to the stage, it might just be off position slightly, just move it back down so it's at the bottom um, of the screen. But that's all there is to creating um, the ground that we would then animate. But the thing is, we've only done one of them, okay? Remember, there's two sprites that need to be the ground um, so that as one moves to the left, the other one sort of takes its place. So it looks like it's, um, it's moving over to the left-hand side um, of the screen or it gives that scrolling effect. So we need to then repeat the process to create another sprite. 
Now we need to program each of them. Now this is the script that we would use for the first piece of land. We're going to make it go to 0, 0, so that means it's going to start off in the center of, um, of the screen at the bottom, and then we're going to make it forever move to the left hand side. So forever it's going to change the x value by minus 5. But that's only going to happen as long as the x position is greater than minus 450 because the moment that it's less than 400 minus 450 we then need to reposition that sprite over to the right hand side. So let's go through that again. We first place the sprite so that it's uh, centered at the bottom of the screen. That's that script. Then we forever move that sprite to the left, so it's constantly moving over to the left hand side. But the moment that the position of the sprite goes too far to the left, so in other words, as soon as it's less than minus 450, then we're going to move our or reposition our sprite over to the right hand side of the screen where its x value is 450 and its y value is 0. And we can do exactly the same with our second piece of. Uh, land, but the only difference here is that its starting position isn't going to be at 0, 0. The starting position is going to be at 450, 0. That means over to the right hand side of the screen. So it's not actually on the screen, it's queuing up on the right hand side. But the rest is exactly the same. We make it forever move to the left, and the moment it goes off the screen, it gets repositioned to the right hand side of the screen. So let's demonstrate how that works. So here is um, a new scratch file on scratch 3 and the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a uh, brand new sprite that's going to be the land so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick um, a particular color let's go for green like so and I'm just going to draw the land like so so that I can quickly fill it in I'm just going to box it off doing a great job here so hopefully you get the idea so let's box that off and now we are able to fill that in with our green oh dear what's happened here that wasn't very good was it let's do that again that's not very good right I'm sure you'll fast forward in this now so they're just waiting for me to finish this off. Right, here we go. Now let's fill it. There we go. Right, so we've got our land, like so. So, as I said, it's off slightly, so let's reposition it down the bottom, like so. And that is great for our first sprite. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to just duplicate that sprite again. But what I'm going to do is just slightly edit it so that I know it's definitely different. So I'm going to put a few more hills like so and just fill those in and then again move that down to the bottom like so. So I've got sprite 2 and I've got sprite 3 which are my uh, ground sprites. So I'm going to go to the first of those um, sprites and I'm going to start to program it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that when the green flag is clicked, I want it to, to begin with, go to 0, 0. And then I want the following to happen. I'm going to have a forever loop, and inside that I'm going to have an if-else statement. Now remember, the first thing I want it to do is I want it to move to the left-hand side. So I'm going to make it constantly change its x value by minus 5. But the moment that it is off the screen to the left hand side, so the moment, I've done the wrong one there, let's do less than, here we go. So the moment it's x position, where are we? There we go. The moment it's x position is less than minus 450, I want to then reposition that object over to the right hand side. So I'm going to make the land go to 450, 0. So let's move the, that one out the way and let's just focus on this one here. So when I click the green flag, 
you can see it's moving over to the left hand side and as soon as it goes off the screen it gets repositioned over to the right hand side and that we are now halfway through creating our scrolling background so let's stop that one and let's move over to sprite 3 now again I'm going to cheat I'm going to drag this into my sprite 3 and if you remember the only difference here is its starting position we want it to do exactly the same we want it to move to the left and as soon as it goes too far off to the left we want it to be repositioned on the right hand side of the screen but the starting position we don't want it to be on top of the other sprite we want it to be to the right hand side of the other sprite so I'm going to change the x value to 450 now when I click the green flag you can see that the land is scrolling and it's scrolling forever and that is how you create a scrolling background so see if you can do that yourself